Hello, this is Annalisa, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am a part of the Save the Crafty YouTuber Video Hop, and that is a celebration of card making video tutorials by a lot of great creators. So all you have to do is watch, like, and consider subscribing to our channels and hop along with us. And you'll find the next person in the description box below. There's also some great prizes, so let us know if you're from the US or international, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in a bit. So for my card, I will be using the la llama set here called llama tell you and then this sequence fabric so it's the two-way sequence fabric and then i also was able to pick this ribbon up that is two-way sequence as well and i got these at dollarama which is a canadian dollar store and i did a project with this on my blog before but I used a pillow that they had at Dollarama and I was able to cut it up fine and everything. So I wanted to do it again since I found the ribbon and the actual fabric. I was so excited and I wanted to try this project out again. So for today's card, I will be using the ribbon and I grab my fabric glue and applied this on here really liked that it was already in a nice size and I could definitely cut this down as well if I wanted to make smaller strips and then I set that aside to let it dry and then I am stamping my llama from the lawn fawn set in memento tuxedo black ink and then I'm going to be stamping the little word bubble there and then I will stamp the little itty bitty heart and then I'm just going ahead and coloring in this image with a spectrum nor markers where all the supplies used including the spectrum nor markers you will find the links to all the supplies used in the description box below and I also have a blog post for this card if you want to check that out and so yes this is so exciting to be a part of this hop and definitely hop along because I'm sure there's gonna be some great projects so my coloring was super simple I am NOT a coloring expert at all I just have fun with it and I wanted to match the colors to the sequence so I did some purples and a little bit of the turquoisey green there just blended everything how I liked it and this is super sped up for you and then once my fabric, my sequence fabric, was dry on the card, I went ahead and cut it off, extra ribbon, and there you go. You can see how it is flipping, and you do lose a few of the little piece, sequence pieces there, but it does stay intact, and this is just a really fun thing. So I went ahead and cut the llama down off camera. And then I'm going to be popping him up on foam dots. And then I decided that he needed something behind him. So I grabbed out my circle dies and found one that was a perfect size, made sure that it fit with my llama. And then I got out my Sizzix sidekick machine and got that circle die cut out for the background where the llama will be popped up. I love this little machine. It is so handy and I can put it right on my desk. And then I went ahead and used the advanced tape glider to adhere that circle flat on the card. And then the llama gets popped up right on there and the little word bubble as well.
and then I just took a marker again just to lighten the lamb coloring up a little bit and also add a little bit of texture and I really liked how this looked in the end and then I was ready to stamp the sentiment so I used the sentiment from the stamp set so it's Lama tell you And I'm gonna tell you how much I like you. So funny, so fun. My oldest son, who is four, was a llama for Halloween. And yeah, so we kind of have a llama joke in our family now. And he likes llamas. So I had to get the stamp set. And yes, llamas are fun. You can't get enough llamas. And yes, so when I was done stamping the sentiment, I felt like this still needed something. The white there was just messing with me and I was like, no, this card is not done yet. What am I going to do? So I went ahead and grabbed two Crystal Nouveau drops. One is the Midnight Blue And the other one is Violet Galaxy, and I just added little dots all around this white background with the different colors and flicked them a little bit here. And when it was all done, I really liked how it looked. I thought that it looked like the colors, the little dots, were fading into the sequence fabric and I thought it just looked really fun and there you go you can play with your sequence now I suggest if you use Nouveau drops <laughs> wait till they dry to play with your sequence because you can see that I kind of messed up one of the dots so I had to go in and fix that But it is very fun and very tempting and very distracting and very sparkly so definitely try this project out it is so fun and you might not get any more cards done because it is so distracting but i hope your crafting still goes on here's some still pictures of the card thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and hop along to the next one and comment below to win great prizes and let us know if you are in the US or international as some prizes may not be able to be sent to everywhere.